फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पैंटो मैथ वर्ल्ड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लैटिट्यूड एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड नाउ वी एंटर इनटू द टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो व्हाट लैटिट्यूड इज लैटिट्यूड्स आर द इनविजिबल हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइंस दैट रन अराउंड द अर्थ लैटिट्यूड इज अ ज्योग्राफिक कोऑर्डिनेट that specifies the north south position of a point on the earth's surface longitudes are vertical imaginary lines running from pole to pole and longitude is a geographic coordinate that specifies the east west position of a point on the earth's surface the eight planets revolving around the sun earth is the third planet from the sun and the only astronomical object known to human life latitude and longitude are two coordinates that together tell you exactly where you are on the earth just like every actual house has its address which includes the number the name of the street city etc every single point on the surface of the earth can be specified by the latitude and longitude coordinates Therefore by using latitude and longitude we can specify virtually any point on earth The function of latitude and longitude is to accurately locate a position on the surface of the earth Latitudes are the invisible horizontal lines that run around the earth from east to west also known as parallels because they run parallel to one another and never meet lines of latitude decrease in length as they get toward the poles one degree of latitude called an arc degree at the north and south poles arc degrees are simply points I already said latitudes are parallels therefore the distance between each degree remains the same but as the earth is geoid and not spherical in shape the distance varies slightly as we move northwards or southwards from the equator each degree of latitude is approximately 69 miles 111 kilometers apart an imaginary line around the middle of the earth is called the equator and the equator is a 0 degree latitude an equator divides the earth into a northern hemisphere and a southern hemisphere the earth is widest at its equator The latitudes can be defined maximum as 90 degrees north from the equator and 90 degrees south from the equator. The North Pole has the latitude coordinate of 90 degrees north. The South Pole has the latitude coordinate of 90 degrees south. There are 181 latitudes on the earth. 90 from north, 90 from south and one equator. Therefore, total 181 latitudes latitudes are measured in degrees latitudes are denoted by the greek lower case letter phi there are some important latitudes those are equator arctic circle antarctic circle tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn first I will explain what equator is. An imaginary line around the middle of the earth is called the equator and the equator is a 0 degree latitude. An equator divides the earth into a northern hemisphere and a southern hemisphere. The earth is widest at its equator. The latitudes can be defined maximum as 90 degrees north from the equator and 90 degrees south from the equator. The North Pole has the latitude coordinate of 90 degrees north. 
The South Pole has the latitude coordinate of 90 degrees south. There are 181 latitudes on the Earth. 90 from north, 90 from south and 1 equator, therefore total 181 latitudes. The Earth has an axis but it is not straight up. This is because the Earth is not spinning upright. The Earth is slightly tilted or leaning on its side by 23.50 degrees while spinning toward the east. The Sun is directly overhead at high noon on the equator twice per year. Those are called equinoxes. Equinox literally means equal night, giving the impression that the night and day on the equinox are exactly the same length. 12 hours each. Equinoxes happen when the sun is exactly above Earth's equator. This unique angle causes every area of the Earth to experience approximately. At the equator, all days of the year have the same number of hours of light and dark. Now, I will explain what Arctic Circle is. The Arctic Circle is at the latitude of 66.56083 degrees north of the equator. Everything north of this circle is known as the Arctic and the zone just to the south of this circle is the northern temperate zone. In Arctic Circle, the sun can remain above or below the horizon for 24 hours is called polar day and polar night. A polar day is where it is 24 hours of continuous daylight. It occurs June 21st every year. It is 24 hours of continuous daylight. It occurs June 21st every year. It is also called Midnight Sun. Polar night is 24 continuous hours of darkness. It occurs December 21st every year. North of the Arctic Circle, more than one polar day and polar night occurs per year. The position of the Arctic Circle is not fixed and currently runs 66 degrees, 33 minutes, 48.1 seconds north of the equator. Its latitude depends on the Earth's axial tilt which fluctuates within a margin of more than 2 degrees over a 41,000 year period due to tidal forces resulting from the orbit of the Moon. Consequently, the Arctic Circle is currently drifting northwards at a speed of about 15 meters 49 feet per year. Now, I will explain what Antarctic Circle is. The Antarctic Circle is a parallel of latitude on the Earth at approximately 66.5 degrees south of the equator. The region south of this circle is known as the Antarctic and the zone immediately to the north is called the Southern Temperate Zone. In Antarctic Circle, the sun can remain above or below the horizon for 24 hours is called polar day and polar night. Polar night is 24 continuous hours of darkness. It occurs June 21st or 22nd every year.
A polar day is where it is 24 hours of continuous daylight. It occurs December 21st or 22nd every year. It is also called Midnight Sun. South of the Antarctic Circle, more than one polar day and polar night occurs per year. The precision of the Antarctic Circle is not fixed and currently runs 66 degrees 33 minutes 48.1 seconds south of the equator. Its latitude depends on the Earth's axial tilt which fluctuates within a margin of more than 2 degrees over a 41,000 year period due to tidal forces resulting from the orbit of the Moon. Consequently, the Antarctic Circle is currently drifting southwards at a speed of about 15 meters 49 feet per year. Tropic of Cancer The line of 23.44 degrees north latitude is called the Tropic of Cancer because when it was named, the sun passed overhead at this location at the time of year when it was within the zodiac sign of Cancer. The sun is directly overhead at noon once a year. In the northern hemisphere, on the Tropic of Cancer, that is the summer solstice, usually June 21st. Tropic of Capricorn The line of 23.44 degrees south latitude is called the Tropic of Capricorn because when it was named, the sun passed overhead at this location at the time of year when it was within the zodiac sign of Gemini. The sun is directly overhead at noon once a year. In the southern hemisphere, on the Tropic of Capricorn, that is the winter solstice, usually December 21st. Between the two tropic zones, which includes the equator, the sun is directly overhead twice per year. Outside the tropic zones, whether to the south or north, the sun is never directly overhead. As you go closer to the poles, you have more and more days the sun remains above or below the horizon for six months at a time. Now, we have to know what longitude is. Longitudes are vertical imaginary lines running from pole to pole and longitude is a geographic coordinate that specifies the east-west position of a point on the Earth's surface. Zero degree longitude is called prime meridian. Prime meridian also called Greenwich meridian because which passes through the Royal Observatory Greenwich, England was allocated the position of zero degree longitude. Prime Meridian differentiating the west and east positions. The longitudes can be defined maximum as 180 degrees east from the Prime Meridian and 180 degrees west from the Prime Meridian. East and west contains only one single 180 degree it is called the International Dateline. It passes through the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Halfway around the world from the Greenwich Meridian, the International Dateline lies on the opposite side of the world to the Prime Meridian. There are 360 longitudes on the Earth with a 1 degree difference. It takes 4 minutes for the Earth to rotate 1 degree longitude. The distance between degrees of longitude 
varies greatly depending upon longitude location on the Earth. Longitude is widest at the equator with a distance of 69.172 miles, that is 111.321 kilometers. The distance gradually shrinks to zero as they meet at the poles. At 40 degrees north or south, the distance between a degrees of longitude is 53 miles, that is 85 kilometers. Half of Earth, which lies west of the prime meridian, is called the Western Hemisphere and half of Earth, which lies east of the prime meridian, is called the Eastern Hemisphere. The longitudes are centered at the poles and the longitudes at the equator are much wider. All places on one longitude, midday will be happening at the same time. This is why they are also called midday lines. This is why they are also called midday lines. Longitudes are denoted by the Greek letter lambda. The longitudes are semicircles. Both latitude and longitude are measured in degrees. The latitudes can be defined maximum as 90 degrees north from the equator and 90 degrees south from the equator. The North Pole has the latitude coordinate of 90 degrees north. The South Pole has the latitude coordinate of 90 degrees south. There are 181 latitudes on the Earth. 90 from north, 90 from south and 1 equator, therefore total 181 latitudes. The longitudes can be defined maximum as 180 degrees east from the prime meridian and 180 degrees west from the prime meridian. East and west contains only one single 180 degree. Both latitude and longitude are measured in degrees. Each degree can be broken into 60 minutes. Each minute can be divided into 60 seconds. For finer accuracy, Fractions of seconds given by a decimal point are used. 1 degree is 60 minutes, which equals 3600 seconds. For example, Paris, the city of love, has the geographical coordinates 48.8566 degrees north, 2.3522 degrees east. One more example. Brazil has the geographical coordinates 14.2350 degrees south, 51.9253 degrees west. Here, S means south, N means north, E means east, and W means west. Latitude is written before longitude. Latitude is written with a number followed by either north or south depending on whether it is located north or south of the equator. Longitude is written with a number followed by either east or west depending on whether it is located east or west of the prime meridian. Like, share, comment, subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon for more videos.